what is going on guys it's your boy Uj back again once again with your next dragon ball super manga chapter this is chapter 62 if you're coming from the uh re the the review video or no the preview there we go it's still like pretty early for me right now i'm not really <laughs> used to uh waking up early anymore but i mean it is what it is we're here now chapter 62 edge of defeat um and i think the title implies that uh moro is pretty much gonna sock and bop these freaking dudes uh we read the the little pre the 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 rough sketch previews off of the official website um the other day and like i said if you're coming from that um yeah this is the the full-on chapter um i did reach out to viz so a little bit of transparency here with you guys i lived i did reach out to viz to see if um i could get like special permission to show the manga when i do these read-alongs haven't gotten a response yet because i mean i kind of just messaged them um so not really expecting like a, a very on like like a like a fast on uh response there but hopefully i do get some kind of response and maybe hopefully fingers crossed that we can f actually show the manga while i read it so that way the video itself is a little bit more engaging and appealing to you guys but i i do have to say a uh, big shout out to you guys for definitely um following on these videos i mean i know these only come out once a month but um enough of you guys are liking the videos and watching them in, in general um the last few have done really well especially boruto i mean that kind of goes without saying because if you didn't see what happened last month i definitely consider you should uh check it out but we're here for dragon ball super right now so let's go ahead and get uh, right into it okay so has seven three's power uh has been added to your strength that's a weird little typo to start the chapter off okay piccolo literally let me read that again has seven threes power has been added to your strength yeah that they uh had a little slip up there that's okay indeed moro says let me sorry whoops there we go crud it's one thing after another with this guy says goku vegeta springs out of the ground looks like he's like powered right back up to where he was a uh, blue evolution or a blue gatorade diamond like i like to say vegeta goku is all surprised more was like smirk and vegeta's like is that so i'll tear you apart once again oh it's that yeah okay very vegeta charges in moro freaking just dodges him and uh, vegeta ends up punching these freaking nearby boulders always gotta have the nearby boulders they're smirking, or Vegeta's like looking back. Moro's still smirking. Vegeta charges again, goes in with a flurry of kicks. Moro dodges all of them. He goes, your new technique requires you to inflict damage first, yes? I won't make the same mistake twice. And Vegeta's like, damn it. So Moro's out here exposing Vegeta's secrets. Go on, Vegeta. He might have absorbed 7-3's abilities, but the rule says it only lasts 30 minutes very true a good good realization go on thank you for that reminder because i totally forgot uh vegeta realizes and he's like oh and then piccolo's like right he'll be back to his former strength if we run out the clock and then moro goes ha 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 this power has returned home there is no time limit in fact and then he vanishes behind vegeta right grabs by the neck this is the this is the uh shot that we saw out of the preview Gah! and then everyone's like all surprised and like very shocked and then vegeta's like ah, unhand me and he's a little too late moro literally shows his palm and actually has vegeta literally in his palm so uh so like i said um is moro gonna potentially get stronger and i think he is because now he has absorbed vegeta and presumably all of his abilities so Let's see. Um, but just like, oh, what's going on? Moro says, I've gained his copy ability. Gohan says, Moro, that scum. Did he just copy Vegeta? Goku says, what's this copy thing you keep talking about? 7-3 could copy a person's abilities by grabbing their neck, says Gohan. And I think he managed to copy Vegeta. Abilities, huh? Moro punches Vegeta back. Vegeta takes the hit. Takes another sock to the face. Vegeta down to the ground. Oh, but he, but before he actually like just falls through the ground, he actually like 
lands on all fours, which is actually pretty dope. And she was like, yeah, looks like he has like a headache. He's like, who's like holding his head? And then uh, Moro is holding his hand. That looks like he's about to like throw some type of attack at him. All the, the rest of the fighters are alarmed. Oh my God, he's about to do Bing Bang attack? Oh no. So then Gohan's like, that's Vegeta's move. And then Moro's like, Big Bang attack? Isn't that what you call it, Vegeta? Fire. Oh, that's embarrassing. My man Vegeta's getting rocked by his own stuff right now, bro. Damn, he like, he basically leveled like, like all the ground that there was there that were he was on is just like, like just dug in. Like, damn, Vegeta is fried. Literally powered down to base. He's like coughing and stuff. Gohan, Vegeta. Piccolo's alarmed. Moro's like, was that supposed to impress anyone? Such a grandiose name for such an ordinary chi blast. Damn. Oh my God. Toyotaro really has no idea what he's doing to Vegeta, right? <laughs> okay, Piccolo, this is worse than we realized. Goku's like, huh? Piccolo says, if he's got Vegeta's abilities, that means he can use forced spirit fission. Like I, like I stated, you guys always had the fusion dance, the Pitar earrings, and other means of combining as last resorts, but those would be rendered useless now. I wonder if Moro actually absorbed Goku, if he was able to self-fuse. That would be ridiculous, but that's I'm just thinking out loud. Anyway, let's continue. The, at the sanctuary. Okay, so this is at the Kami's lookout. Um, and Bulma and the rest of the gang, I see Hercule, I see, uh, Popo, I see, uh, I see Chi-Chi, I see Videl, I see, uh, Garlic Jr. in the gang with Mai, um, I pretty much, yeah, I pretty much see, like, yeah, you know, like, everyone you would expect to see, Dende, of course, and they're watching off Bulma's, like, uh, like computer setup that she's got outside wired to nothing which is you know very bulma like very godlike um what now they've got no one left who can fight then they says i can go and restore their energy huh and then i think that i forget his name but he's the other namekian from a uh, new namek i totally forget his name we'll probably uh see it Eska, there it goes. Okay, so Eska says, you're going to fly down there yourself? And then Momo's like, are you sure about that? Isn't that way too risky? Probably, says Dende. But as Earth's God, I can't just sit back and do nothing. And the Ox King, the Ox King's there, by the way. I, I, if I didn't mention that. Uh, they're all surprised, and Eska's like, Dende, Eska, Mr. Popo, take care of things here. Be careful, Kami-sama. Okay, so... So, okay, so check this out. Here's my prediction before I turn the page. I feel like Dende might end up actually restoring them if he's lucky. We might see him fuse with Piccolo. But... I think Dende might actually die. If, if he don't fuse with Piccolo. It would be cool if he did fuse with Piccolo because then, you know, then they could, like, separate with Spirit Vision like Vegeta said he could do it. But... We'll see what happens. So then they flies down. Um, oh, Krillin. Oh, there's Krillin. Okay. Not good. Not good. Everyone's chi signatures keep getting smaller. Oh, he's got a bag of sensu. If only I'd given Goku some sensu beans before we split. Damn it. I hope I make it in time. So Krillin's also on the way. So we both have. So we have some some minor support on the way. I guess I shouldn't say minor to undermine Dende. Because Dende could totally... Uh, refuel them as well as Krillin with the sensu beans so Gohan and Piccolo charge up uh, and then they charge at Moro Moro of course blocks both of their attacks simultaneously Moro hits both of them back as you would expect uh, Piccolo crashes into a bunch of boulders uh, Moro then hits Gohan with a flurry of key blasts Gohan tries to block it takes the blast 
Piccolo. Oh, with the Mr. Fantastic arms. Stretches out, grabs him by the ankles. Moro blasts Piccolo. Piccolo takes, takes the entire hit. And then Piccolo says, I won't let go even if you kill me. Moro says, huh, you haven't realized that I'm keeping you alive. Oh, you people are my meal, you know. Okay, so seems like Moro is fighting with a slight handicap. So it's interesting to note because obviously, um, you know, like normally any of the villains that they fight early on, the only time that they're really keeping them alive is when they're trying to be cocky or arrogant. And he's, he's just keeping them alive for the sake of, you know, eating their life energy. That's pretty, uh, damn, Moro's OD. Um, oh, what? Gohan, wait a minute. Gohan, okay, takes his finger up. He does, he's literally doing the galactic donut and throws it at Moro and does, and he closes. What the? He's literally using Galactic Donut. When the? F okay, okay, that's that's fire, I guess. But he's 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 taking the move of the little brother, unless he ever did it before. But no, 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 no. that's a Go Tanks move, all right. And he goes nice. He goes unleash it now, Goku says Piccolo. Oh, Goku freaking right out. Oh, okay, surprise right from behind the, the instant transmission. Kamehameha. It looks like he's Super Saiyan Blue, by the way. <gasps> Blast. Moro looks like he stops it or catches it. Or he's struggling. There's a power struggle going on. Goku's pushing. Ah, he's pushing, pushing, pushing. And then the dust. We see dust. A lot of knockback. Piccolo is like looking away. Gohan's looking away. Jacko's trying to hide. Goku stands before Moro. Wow. So he managed to blast Moro's arm off. And Moro notices. Holy, ew, that looks gross. Go on and pick a little like, oh. And what do you know? Oh! Ho -ho! Damn, yo. Moro regrew his arm while, like, going right through Goku's chest. That's all levels of disgusting. Oh my god, it's literally right through his chest. Gohan Piccolo are devastated. Jackal can't believe what he's seeing. Oh, and he's he's a hundred percent copying Goku right now. This is the, they have the same visual effects that they showed when he was doing it to uh, Vegeta. It weirdly enough, um, it seemed like all he had to I guess all he has to do is touch them. And well, I mean, what better way to touch someone than to freaking go literally right through them? Um, and then he pulls his arm back out. Goku's like, oh my God, he's bleeding like crazy. He's like, uh, 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 right? Moro's like, yes. Piccolo's regeneration. Did I fail to mention that the ability 7-3 copied are now mine forever with no pesky time limits? Holy crap. So, um, forgive me for uh, not remembering exactly which copy abilities 7-3 uh, had prior to this. I do remember he had a backup of Moro. He had Piccolo. Did he have a Gohan as well? Because if he does have Gohan as well, I mean, this guy is completely broken. I think it goes without saying. This Moro, obviously being in his um, in his Madara state, if you will, his, in, in his Prime Plus state, um, and with the addition of having other abilities of other characters is actually i mean does that not make him like put him in the conversation of strongest villain like i'm pretty I, like i will we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in the full pack podcast we'll, we'll definitely tune in for that one Gohan's like dad oh nah goku just fell right down he's on his knees he's literally hanging off a of freaking moro's leg he goes hmm don't go dying on me just yet and he kicks Goku back. Do Goku's like, okay. Well, at least I I feel a little bit better, <laughs> a little bit for obvious reasons. I want Vegeta to get this win, but I need your I need to devour your energy before you pass on. That was the point of all of this. Uh oh, Gohan charges in. Ah, <gasps> he punches Moro right in the back of the head, kicks him in the chest, punches him in the back, and he's going he's doing a fury of. <laughs> 
that, right? To the back. Moro literally backhands him. Just like that. Backhands him. Puts Gohan out. Oh, look like he broke some teeth. Oh, man. Dude, like I said, Moro's OD. It seems that Saiyans receive a power boost when enraged. Va factual information. And that just means that he has it too. That's probably why he's saying this stuff. Because the more he realizes like how these Saiyans are, the more he understands that he himself has that ability as well. But hardly enough to fill the chasm between us. Piccolo goes, darn you. Piccolo. Oh, it must be Dende. He's like, I'm headed your way. Is that you, Dende? He's like, yes. If nothing else, I can restore everyone's energy. Uh-oh. Let's not forget, if he has Piccolo's abilities, that means he has Piccolo's hearing, and that's exactly what we see in this little panel right here. Moro's ear twitches, which is uh, signaling that he can hear as well. And Piccolo goes, ah, stop, Dende, no more telep tel uh, telepathy. And then he goes, huh? And then, because Piccolo then realizes, like, he, uh, he realizes that uh, he can hear him. He's like, I see another of your Namekian abilities. He's like, damn it. Piccolo says, keep away, Dende. He was listening in. By the way, we're on page 32 of 33, so we're almost done here. Uh, Jacko says, listening, Dende. Gohan's like bleeding. Moro says, restoring energy, he said. The Namekian moving toward us has such an ability. C Curse you. Such a being could hardly pose a threat, but... What's he doing? He just sent a... He just... What? He just sent an energy... Like a, like a key blast up in the air. And then it, it emitted a dome around where they're fighting. What the hell? And now Moro says that barrier should keep out any unwanted nuisances. And prevent you from escaping. They're screwed. Officially. Oh my god, Dende's right outside. He's like, what? You can't move in. What is this? Krillin sees it. Oh, come on. What is it this time? Piccolo knocks back Jacko. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Moro knocks back Piccolo and Jacko. They fall into some boulders, of course. Oh, there goes 17 and 18. Surprise, forgot they were even there. Wow, my man got the backwards finger guns literally like this and shoots them both down. He goes, sorry, Jacko, says Piccolo, for roping you into Earth's battle. Jacko says, knock it off. Moro broke out of our prison, and besides, Earth is my jurisdiction. If this plan is doomed to die, then it's my duty to go down with the ship. Piccolo says, oh yeah? Then I won't feel, bad, feel as bad about this. He goes, huh? And Piccolo's like, huh? And he's like, he has like, he's got this hand formation going on right now. He's like loading up some kind of like big energy. And then Jacko says, um, what's going on, buddy? And then he's like, that barrier is a, is a blessing in disguise. Since it'll keep any destruction contained, there will be nothing left in here when I'm done. And Jacko's like, huh? Blowing yourself up? And Jacko's like, could you hold off for a minute? I haven't made my peace. Oh, no! Yo, Piccolo got hit with the special beam cannon. My so so go ball. Like, damn. He's dead. He has to be. He goes, Piccolo. Jacko's like, no more nonsense from you, okay? Just lie there. Jacko's, J Jacko's the only one left. Moral goes, and now you're the only one left, Galactic Patrol. I'm, I'm telling you right now, Miris. It's happening, guys. Miris. It's, it's, it's gonna happen. I haven't even looked yet. I have no I have no indication of spoilers. I don't follow the spoilers. I just see whatever the official stuff is at. So they see there's this panel of Piccolo, Vegeta, Goku, 18, 17. Oh, excuse me. There's Piccolo, Gohan, Goku, 18, 17, Vegeta, Jacko, Surprise. They're all like shot and like Goku still got a big ass hole in his chest. Like, ugh. This is awful. Then they says, I was completely useless. I couldn't defend the planet or help anyone. Some god of earth I am. And then, oh, what happened? The the portal, the, 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 the dome opened up. Then they falls through. He goes, huh? 
He's like, the barrier just opened up? This isn't over yet, God of Earth. Ah, it's an angel. But is it Whis or is it Miris? He goes, ah, it's you. And then they go right back to Moro versus Jacko. Jacko says, stay back, I'm warning you. Moro says, to be blunt, I have zero interest in your life energy. Such a small portion and probably foul tasting. Damn, poor Jacko. Which means I have no need to keep you alive. Farewell. And Jacko's like, buzz off, scumbag. He shoots his little pew pew Fisher Price gun, right? Shoots it out. And Moro seems distracted because he doesn't even pay any mind to the blaster. And, well, so, okay, wait a minute. So, Mo Jacko shoots off one, but then he notices another shot, right? And then there's, like, a big blast. And then Jacko's like, say what, huh? Did I do that? And Moro is showing blocking. He's like, you imbued that shot with your own energy and jacko turns around oh agent miris <laughs> i told you but you aren't really galactic patrol are you okay so it's official next chapter hits august 20th miris has officially joined the fight and it seems like um it seems like under uh, a new sort of uh i don't even know the word i want to use right now because it seems like a lot happened up there in the uh the, the beerus world or wherever they are and uh you know obviously we learned that as an angel you're not supposed to have any kind of direct involvement with things that happen and um, angels are this just you know they're, they're they're the strongest beings um and they're stronger than gods of destruction um and if they get involved they get literally wiped from existence so i have a theory and i kind of mentioned this a little bit on the uh, full power podcast that um if miris is to get involved which he now is i think this will be the 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 part which i and a lot of others are unfortunately going to have to uh, look forward to in seeing that once miris gets defeated this is what's going to spark goku's ultra instinct mastered edition right so and 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 also i will say that it's obviously Whis is in on this because they must have had a conversation miris must have given up on this angel you know aspect which is what allowed them to even get there to help out in the first place. Either Miris is going to relinquish his like becoming of an angel fully, or he is fully um, aware of the consequences and, ex and, and literally is ready to die. That's what I can take from this. It's kind of sucks. I like Miris. Miris is really cool. Um, he's like hella strong obviously because he's part angel or he is or he's like trainee whatever the fact of the matter is is this guy let's not forget literally abducted goku and vegeta while just trying to get majin buu and he did it with ease literally it took look took him little to no effort so yeah that's uh that's what's going on that's my predictions going forward I've, like the rest of the fighters there are no fighters it's literally just jacko and dende right now and now mirrors and Whis is going to be looking on from above who knows i wonder if beerus is there just to watch along uh firsthand but i'm gonna be guessing that next week's next month's chapter is going to possibly show us a little backstory on exactly how they got to where they are like the conversation that was had before they actually we actually see miris versus moro officially so we might we might see a little bit of it next chapter but i don't think we i don't think we'll fully see it until like maybe chapter 64 if the order in which i just made my prediction actually happens let me know y'all thought about this month's chapter in the comments below make sure you like share and subscribing um, also join my discord if you're trying to talk more about this chapter and other anime and manga also check me out on twitch so that way you can talk to me while i play some games 
and uh yeah man i i'm very very happy with this chapter this chapter was actually a little bit longer than normal normally we get like around like 40 to 42 pages this was a 48 pager so really really good stuff um and i'm pretty satisfied with it but unfortunately i just hope i just i just, honestly i just hope that toyotaro does not mess this up i keep saying this i'm gonna i'm gonna keep saying that but uh make sure you tune into the full power podcast so that way you can hear all of um the thoughts out of myself and kai which should be up at some point later today um but of course make sure you do have that alert button on so that way you get notified as to when that episode goes live until then guys take care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked glued right here on this channel stay cl- stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see y'all next Thank you.